guys if you are already working in a git then you must be aware that git branch command will show you all the branches that are available in your repository right but do you know how this command git branch works internally from where it pull out all these information so in this video we are going to talk about that concept how git branch command work and in this video we are going to understand complete flow which play an important role to fetch all this information and show us in the console hey guys welcome back to automation elearn i'm your friend suresh dubey and today we are going to talk about multiple concepts which are very very important if you are working in a git so guys if you really want to understand the git functionality and git concept then you must be aware about all the objects all the folders and files available in dot git folder inside your repository this is important so in this video while discussing about git branch and its functionality we are going to talk about few folders that are present in dot git folder and guys before that i have already covered lot many other topics in git so you can refer this playlist here i have discussed many other concepts so you can refer accordingly and uh, in each and every video i have discussed core concept in git i have given a link in the description you can refer and watch the video accordingly so without further delay let's talk about git branch command as usual i am going to refer a sample repository and uh, here i have a couple of branches i have a master branch and three feature branches i have so here git branch is showing me all the branches that is available inside this repository sample project right and uh, same thing we can do with git branch hyphen a as well hyphen a is nothing but all it will show you all the local branches and all the remote tracking branches as well so here we have a couple of branches that we are seeing in the console but from where this information is getting pulled how git branch is pulling all this information and where all these informations are stored to understand this we are going to talk about different concepts first i'll talk about those concepts separately and then at the end i'll show you the complete flow what exactly happens when we execute git branch command in the console so we'll talk about that flow at the end because it involves multiple concepts that we need to understand first so inside your repository you have dot git folder right and this folder has all the information about your repository all the branches all the commits and everything where the head is pointing to all these informations are stored in this folder only here we are going to talk about two three objects which we will refer to understand today's topic here we need to first understand about head so head is a pointer which always refer the tip of the branch tip of the branch means latest commit recent most commit so head will point to recent most commit in the branch so if i'll open this file so this information head is containing right now it is referring to ref heads and master this is a path this is referring to some location inside your dot git folder only so we have ref heads and master so here we have a refs folder inside that we have heads and then it is pointing to master we have other branches as well over here right why it is pointing to master only because here if you notice currently i am on master branch i have checked out currently i have checked out master branch that's why it's pointing to master branch what will happen if i'll check out feature one so now i am on feature one and uh, if i'll reopen this file so now it is pointing to feature one it means head will always point to the current branch on which you are working initially i was on master so head was pointing to master ref heads master and after i checked out feature one head is now pointing to feature one so whatever branch we have checked out whatever branch we are working with currently so head will always point to that branch only that is a one concept now let's talk about this path so ref heads and here we have a branch detail so git branch has listed out four branches master and three feature branches and here inside heads folder we have the same details available right 
and currently I am on feature 1 so head is pointing to feature 1 refs heads feature 1 let's open this feature 1 and see what does it contains okay so looking at the detail it seems this is a commit id okay let's verify this I am on feature 1 and if I will do git log then here we have a couple of commit and the latest commit is starting with double four double c and it seems feature 1 is containing latest commit that we are seeing on the console as well where we modified m1 and m2 files and uh, we perform a commit operation so this is the commit id generated and the same commit id is being referred by feature 1 file over here what about feature 2 feature 2 is also containing some commit id only coming back to feature 1 now here feature 1 is referring to the latest commit it's not referring to this commit or this commit it's referring to the latest commit so it means if i'll perform another commit over here then feature 1 should refer to that new commit right let's try and verify this so we are going to modify something one of the file and just update the details this is new line something like this and write and quit so I'll have M1 modified and uh, I can add it. I can give a message updated M1 file. And uh, checking at log, now I have a new commit ID generated. Earlier, double four double C was the latest, that's why feature one was containing this. Now I have a new commit ID which is starting with FAB. So let's refresh this file and see what does it contains so yes it is now containing the latest commit that we have performed just now f a b e it's no more referring to double four double c it means branch will always refer to the latest commit only if you have referred my previous video in one of the video i have discussed how each commit is connected with its previous commit this commit is connected with this one and double four double c is connected with this one so this is how it form a chain of commit I have given a link of that video in the description you can refer and you can understand the commits chaining process git branch will always refer to the latest commit and latest commit will refer to its previous commits and this is how it form a chain so git branch don't need to contains all these commits right it only need to know the latest commit and this is what it's containing here right so as of now we understood two things first we are starting with head and head is pointing to this location and it will always refer to the branch which we have checked out currently if i'll go to this location feature 1 then feature 1 is referring to the latest commit it will always refer to the latest commit that we just saw initially it was pointing to this one but after we made a new commit it is pointing to this commit now so this is the flow this is the flow that i was talking about let's see one more example i will check out master or any other branch as well and uh, if i'll see head head is pointing to master now because we have checked out master branch and uh, let's go to that location refs heads master and let me open master file so here it's containing commit id starting with c992 and uh, if i'll check a log for master so here we should have the same commit id available yes c992 is the latest commit which is being referred by master branch master file over here now let's understand the complete flow that i was talking about so initially we started understanding head head is the file under dot git this is the file that i was talking about head all in caps and it is referring to some file over here reps heads and branch name right so inside reps there is a heads folder and there we have a branch file so head is referring to this location now here reps heads and the branch which we have checked out currently and if I'll go here, if I'll open branch name, so currently I have checked out master over here. And uh, as I explained, if I'll open master, it's containing some commit ID. And we understood it's containing latest commit, right? 
so from here branch file will contain latest commit always it will point to latest commit only and latest commit is pointing to its previous commit and then further previous commit right so this is the complete flow it always start with head and then it will refer to the branch inside heads folder and branch file will always contain latest commit and latest commit will point to previous commit and then this commit will point to its previous commit and it form a chain of commits so this is the complete flow if you understood this flow completely then it will be easy for you to work with git so coming back to original question how git branch works so when we execute git branch it refer to this location and it pull out all the information which are available here so here we have three feature branches and one master so the same detail is being shown in the console as well let's try to verify that git branch is really pulling branch information from this location or not so what i'm going to do is i will copy one of the feature branch one of the file and uh, i'll rename it to feature 4 and i'll go to console and execute git branch now we have four feature branches and one master feature four branch is the one which we have created from this location we have not created it from the console we copied one of the feature branch and created feature four why we copied because feature four should have valid commit id if i'll open this then it is having a valid commit id if i'll create a new file manually and will give a uh, some random number over here then git branch will not pick that file and it will not show you here so just now we created a feature for new branch from this location and it is same thing like creating a new branch from the console like we execute git checkout hyphen b and feature 5 so i created feature 5 and i checked out so currently i am on feature 5 and if you notice feature 5 is created over here looking at the log of feature 5 so we have c992 and if i'll open feature 5 so here we have c992 so feature 5 is referring to latest commit that we discussed earlier so that was the whole concept where we understood this flow so head is the starting point head will always point to the latest commit in your branch but it will not directly point to the latest commit head will always point to the branch on which you are currently working and that branch file will point to latest commit and latest commit recent commit will connect it to its previous commit and so and so forth and this is how it form a complete flow and it show a branch detail on the console when we execute git branch command so i hope guys it is clear to you let me know in the comment section if you have any question or any doubt and i'll see you soon with another great topic in git Meanwhile guys if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Thank you for running this one. Thank you.